what are some key considerations when working with a youth athlete in a, in a school setting, mate? Uh, well, for me, I think it's all about the environment you create and how you engage with, um, you know, your student athletes and you're basically trying to foster an environment in which they want to come to and they enjoy coming to. And then off the back of that, you know, you, you get to get the, you know, physiological and psychological sort of outcomes that, you know, everyone's after from their training. Um, I, I think that's really the key key for, for mine and that's a, the what I try to create at our, um, at our school and within our team. How would the school setting sort of differ um, to, to a sporting club with the same sort of age group, like you're under 16s at the local footy club or, or under 18s? Yeah, well, yeah, it's an interesting question. I think it comes down to, you know, when, when you're – Um, training athletes in a school setting it's very often not just one particular sport in which you're focusing on you know for example many of the athletes that you know we work with um, you know will be rowers in the summer and then there'll be rugby players in the winter or there'll be basketballers and then there'll be um, footballers and so on so I think um, you know having a lens that a 365 day sort of lens across that is quite important. Um, and that definitely differs from, you know, just your footy club where you're just focusing on one particular sport and the attributes that are important for that. And how do you go about, um, I guess, managing that where you, yeah, you are really dealing with the whole person and then while you're also trying to, you know, teach them and, and educate them um, strength and conditioning? Yeah, well, and that's that's one of the big challenges. I think. I mean, we we all know on the panel that you know, imagine managing workloads from their their sport, their um, you know, S and C work, their um, academia, their you know, just outside um, sort of life is, is you know quite difficult. And um, I think that comes down to just trying to open up clear communication pathways with not only the the students, but also their families and their house masters and their sort of carers within the school. Uh, because, you know, like it, we all know it, it's sometimes it's just crazy how much these kids do and, you know, that they'll leave, you know, that they might have a gym session with me in the morning, then they've got school all day, then they've got a pretty heavy field session in the afternoon and then you find out they're going to rugby league training in the night as well and then you... Yeah you know like it's a huge day no matter who you are so you know that 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 kind of thing and speaking to their parents and speaking to them and getting a you know good understanding of all those kinds of things is very important not only for their athletic sort of um development but you know also just their personal well-being i I think and take us through what does the department look like at shaw school so You've got yourself at the head of the department, but what, what yeah. have you got support around you? Or yeah, take us through. Yeah, well, well, I've 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 been there, you know, like it as a part of this panel, we've been termed leading strength and conditioning coaches in Australia. But I think for me, it's more I've just been here the longest because I've actually been at Shaw for eleven years. So, you know, I've really become a bit of a part of the furniture. But um. So it started just with me solely and then um, from there, you know, I, I was lucky enough to get another um, full-time s c coach who works alongside me and then we've got generally about four casual staff who work anywhere between sort of 10 to 16 hours a week and then often um, through the University of Technology um, Sydney, we will have you know, a student doing their professional internship with us, maybe two at a time. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, as far as schools go in Australia, I think we're pretty, um, well, we're very lucky in terms of the investment that the schools put into our program and um, and into the boys. What are some some key challenges and constraints that are front of mind when you're a strength conditioning coach working in a school setting? Yeah, I, I sort of touched on it a little bit before and I'm sure it's a similar experience to um, the other panellists, but I, I think um, the conflict between sports and how they tend to overlap is quite a big one in and and managing those loads. Um, for example, you know, your top basketballers will be playing through the, that season ends and then the next week they're supposed to be playing, you know, rugby and it's 
against another school. Um, and so, you know, managing that athlete in terms of, you know, their, not only their, I guess, physiological workloads, but also, you know, giving them a bit of a mental break as well as then getting them prepared for things like, you know, heavy contact, which is a, you know, big part of rugby, for example, you know, in order to prevent or reduce the risk of injury, you know, is really, that, that's quite a big challenge.